It's the Thursday before Christmas and so two days before Christmas and we are going to be doing some baking today. I need to get the house cleaned up. Like yeah. today, I've been kind of like keeping things like really wiped down and doing my daily tidy ups and really staying on top of them this week so that um, today is easy. So we're doing baking and then really just like a whole house tidy up. And I cleaned the shower when I was taking it, a shower this morning because I knew that I needed to clean the rest of the bathroom. And um, I already like cleaned the floors and stuff. So I really just need to go in there and wipe everything down and then redo the floors. And then the same thing with the kids, but they're gonna be doing their bathroom. So, and the downstairs bathroom and the living room. I mean, like everything in here is like pretty, tidy i would say we just you know just really wipe dust do the floors um and just get just get a few little things done getting everything we can done and out of the way so that this weekend we can just really enjoy being with family and friends and all the goodies that the kids get and get to play with them without worrying about having to have laundry for next week. So we're going to probably, I'm probably going to start with the laundry now and then get to the cleaning um, so that that's going while I'm cleaning. So let's get started with that. But his room is like rescue theme. So from Pillow Fort, I already tore it off. Pillow Fort without the microfiber sheets shut, sat. It's, look at these little Dalmatians with the fire hydrants. So, so cute. So I'll be able to show y'all kind of like a before and after and some of the things that I'm getting ready today. Um, but yeah, we're doing the Dalmatians. And then we're also doing I found this Room Essentials Micro Texture Comforter in that like really light taupey tan, but see it matches the Dalmatians on here. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Well, I can tell you what Christmas is all about. That's not roasting. Like frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering a simple phrase Although it's been said many times, many ways Merry Christmas
that's not roasting. Okay. This is all cupcake icing. Can y'all see that? And I'm not even sure who it came from. Like, it probably came from my toddler, but it could have been my husband. That's the only thing, like, one of the re one of the reasons why we still have this couch is because it's easily can be wiped down. But if y'all can see, like, there's, like, runs. Ugh. Okay, so we're going to clean it. But we're, I'm going to clean the couch. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to clean the couch. I'm trying to scrub that spot on the wall. Um, I don't know why. I just need to do it because it's going to keep bothering me because now I know it's there. Like, y'all ever have something like you know it's there and it like bothers you and it like slowly eats at you and you're like, you can't stop thinking about it until it's taken care of. Um, so that's always my problem with cleaning. So get this wall scrubbed down, get this couch scrubbed down, and um, move on. Black frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering the sample frame. So now I got all the spots and the like runs and stuff off the couch and that way I can continue dusting and um Savannah's in there baking so she's about to roll out some cookies she is doing the sugar-free cookies gluten-free so because we wanted to do a couple gluten-free options so she's about to roll out her sugar cookie dough Yes. So she's got her counter prepped and then she's going to put um, some saran wrap on top so that the rolling pin doesn't stick to it. So the saran wrap worked great. Wasn't that so much easier? Mm -hmm. So she's getting all of our Christmas um, cookie cutters and getting them all pushed in so we can cut these. And I've already prepared her for the fact that um, possibly a lot of crumblies in this because they're gluten free. But that just happens. That just can happen. Cut it You just, I would just, I just tear the dough off. That's what I normally do, like play dough. <laughs> So, she's got her apron on, but I'm going to get back to getting the downstairs cleaned, which um, the living room is my biggest part. And then this kitchen, of course, we'll do after we're finished cooking. So, as kind of like a nightly tidy up, because I've uh, been doing that um, every night. I've been pretty much just like trying to tidy up the kitchen, like getting all the dishes washed, which Savannah is doing great. And washing them as she goes, which helps immensely. So we'll get back to getting these floors done and um, getting from underneath the couch because I did not do that last week when I was cleaning. So we're just having a blasty blast here, aren't we, Savannah? been said many times many ways Merry Christmas to you Here's a gluten-free sugar cookie Savannah made. 
I did. And then now she's making milk and white chocolate chip cookies. These are gluten free too. Some in the oven. So, and a little bit left. She's cleaning up. So we're down to only cloth napkins now. Savannah and I like, okay, last time y'all saw, I didn't have the labels on it. I labeled it for each family member. So each family member has two colors and then I have them folded sorted by family member. Savannah's favorite color is blue. So she's got blue. She's got those pre-made peanut butter cookies getting ready after the cupcakes are done, making herself a snack. And look how clean she's keeping it. So, her little savvy cakes. We need to make a new label for her bin, but that was her birthday present two years ago when she really got into baking. So, her dad and I filled up a whole tub with all sorts of her own baking pans and 
cookie sheets, cake pans, cake decorator things, and everything. So we put savvy cakes on there for her. And here is the new piece of furniture. I don't know what you would call this. It'd be like a small dresser, but very retro. So she painted the feet black and all the hardware black. So we've got like a small drawer here. This middle one's really deep. And then um, there's two more shallow drawers. Mm. Christmas funfetti. I know I'm trying to get this one because it's taking forever. Savannah, are you ready to take mass orders yet? Okay. For a company. No. <laughs> Not yet. She'll get there one day. She wants to be a woman boss, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So these are Dollar Tree bins. These are their new ones with the handles. So I've got all my smaller candles, votive candles, tea light candles, and like decorative ones that just don't throw that much. Kind of like my Dollar Tree ones. And then my larger candles are of course how to keep out. They're just not gonna fit. Um, air fresheners in here. So my little plugins. I like the Better Home and Gardens from Walmart. And they always have really cute wall plugins. I just don't. I'm just on a Walmart budget, not a Bath and Body Works budget, unless they're like, it's like $2.95 week. Um, then are my wax melts and cotton balls to soak up the wax. But these are so great because they have the handles on them. So they have them in gray and like a greenish color too.
so it's going to be loud back here for this. I'm sorry, but I've got the washer going and the dryer going and um, don't want to stop it because um, I'm always weird about having to start the washer over again. So I reorganized all of this and the light's not going to help much. Okay, so I ended up keeping the tablecloths and runners up top um because i ran out of room in that dresser but i have my outdoor like my front porch cushions up there they're washed and clean um extra coolers and then so now i have all like my main cleaning tools um my little vessel steam shot and then my dyson and accessories and then i have like my little house plant stuff um so that i can get to it and then command hooks and my little home sign accessories. And then down here, the bins with the candles and stuff were in. I used those, rearranged that. I put a couple of Dollar Tree little command hooks up here because my husband always has like two to four hats. Um, so depending on what he's doing. So the large hooks that they sell, um, I put a couple of those up to hold some of his hats so that he can actually get to his bin of stuff. Then there's my bin and then there's the grab and go bin and it's just much more uniformed. And then that way the laundry stuff is all on one shelf and um, my little bins for our paperless towels and then all of our cleaning rags go back there because I'll wash these with colored linens and those with the things that I bleach. Um, and then the vacuum accessories for this little red vacuum, that's the one the kids use. Um, the Dyson is mine, so I don't really let them use it, but I put it down there. It was on the shelf, but since I wanted these here, I decided to just keep them there. And then nothing else really changed though. But I think overall, it does look a lot better. Um, and so those gray baskets there, I'm really liking these Dollar Tree ones. And these are the ones that I've told y'all that I like, I've had them forever. So Savannah has been baking away. She got done with the gluten-free cookies. She finished the cupcakes. So these look so cute. Santa's and reindeer. And then the gluten-free sugar cookies, the gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. Then we've got peanut butter cookies. These are not gluten-free. Then my husband came home with treats from someone that he works with. So we've got even more. And then Savannah is working on snickerdoodles right now. So those were part of that fundraiser once too. I can't eat these, but they smell amazing. So her last batch is in the oven. I think they actually just finished. Savannah. Savannah. They just beat. So I think the last batch is coming out. She has been baking like crazy. And you know what the funny thing is, is that Savannah still wants to cook our HelloFresh meal tonight. And um, that's gonna be the sweetest honey Dijon chicken with lemony green beans and cheesy cauliflower rice. And we'll probably just make some regular rice to go with it too. Because um, our kids aren't a huge fan of the cauliflower rice. But she has done freaking amazing. Look at this beautiful baker. My little mini. So, um, okay, so pretty much everything's clean. I've got all my peppermint candles going. They're my favorite ones for the season. I got the peppermint and clove ones. I got a ton of them a year or two ago at Target. And then I actually have the Glade peppermint ones on the table and on the mantle. So it smells like peppermint and cookies in here. It's amazing. So changed up that. I got this little container from Dollar General. I just like the colors okay so hand towels are in here i showed y'all that and then i also showed y'all the air fresheners and candles and max wax melts i don't know what is wrong with me i keep wanting to say max welts 
Okay, so what I decided is all the stuff I used on that shelf there and those two shelves that I switch around a bunch um, for like decorating things, I decided I would put them in here that are like non-seasonal that can go on any season. So I have a lot of jars, terracotta pots, um, little pails. I use those in the fall with pumpkins in them. This used to be my old utensil thing, but it'll be really cute with some florals in it. And this drawer sticks just a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got that one. So this just has kind of some signs and things, um, some more little jars. These actually used at my sister's baby shower. They're like the little apple juice jars. Um, we did some florals in there. And then these nesting bowls are black and white, which are gonna look really cute on the shelves. Um, it just has a decor piece. I don't think I can bring myself to actually use them. Came in my latest FabFitFun box. So I'm gonna have to work on this drawer because it does get stuck. Okay, so Savannah's been baking up a storm. I got all the cleaning done and the organizing done that I wanted to have complete for today. Um, and now the last to do on my list, um, is going to be making a jalapeno bacon cheese ball, um, possibly two cheese balls because I want to make one as like an appetizer for my family coming tomorrow before chili. And then I also want to make one, um, for my husband's family's Christmas where we just kind of like snack it out on Christmas day, which I absolutely love. Um, I love going over there. The kids love it. Um, just cause it's really chill and you just kind of snack. It just reminds me of my Christmases growing up with my parents and just keeping things as simple or to, you know, to kids, it seems simple, but you know, there is still a lot of work put in it, but it is really relaxing and chill um, over there. So I think I might make one for there too. And we'll definitely be bringing treats over there too. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make a cheese ball real quick. It really doesn't take that long. Um, so I'm going to get my hands all sanitized and ready to go because you do have to mold it by hand, um, get some bacon cooked and everything else is like super simple. Um, I will try to put the recipe in the bottom because it's just something that's like really easy, um, to make and throw together. And you can literally like pick at it for hours and put it back in the fridge and bring it back out. It's really because it's mainly cream cheese. So we're going to, um, get that started. And then hopefully then I can finally chill out and we can relax. And I know Savannah will be taking a break um, while I get the cheese ball done to um, relax before she cooks dinner because she really wants to do, she loves doing the HelloFresh things and she does a really good job at it. So we're gonna get this cheese ball started.
got my two bacon jalapeno cheese balls made. Um, this one definitely turned out prettier than this one, but they still taste amazing. I'm using my little Dollar Tree clear glass bowls. I'm gonna just put some saran wrap on top of it and stick them in the fridge, because one's for tomorrow and one's for Christmas Day. And then our chef, Savannah, is already working on our HelloFresh meal, which was the, um, what was it? Sweet as honey Dijon chicken. And so, mmm, yummy. Is it good? So instead of the cauliflower rice, we're doing regular rice because most of us will only eat the regular rice. She's got the chicken cooking, the rice is done. She's got the zest and the garlic ready. Green beans in the oven. Y'all excuse my oven, it needs to be like completely cleaned. Um, that's gonna be a project for the new year. <laughs> I can get one. I have got all these dishes to wash, so we're gonna get to washing some dishes after I put the cheese balls up, and then we will be finishing up our day. We have been at it since I've been at it since like 6 30 this morning. Savannah's been at it since probably like 9 o'clock. So, I'm gonna switch some laundry around and then get to washing some dishes. Um. Their dinner. Look at all these sweet treats. And I even have these little containers uh, to send people home with them. The girls are eating their chicken and rice with the sauce and the green beans. This is second plate, right? Mm -hmm. It's so good. Miss Chef, do you approve of your? Newest one, is this a reorder? Yes. I think it is too. Lacey said that. And we do like the fresh green beans. These are the only green beans I will eat. I do not eat canned green beans. So I've already wiped down everything in the kitchen and reswept, did some more dishes, um, cleaned out the sink. So we're about to go ahead and put my little tea kettle on. I love this. I don't know how you say this. It Mueller or something? Mueller? I don't know. But our coffee pot's the same brand. And I'm going to get my yummy colostrum drink ready because I have to do it on an empty stomach. So. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Get that ready. Pick out the right cup. 
for myself. I like putting them in my sugar skull cups. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit and cool because I don't like drinking it super hot, but it's definitely better than chilled out. My hair is a mess. I'm a mess, but we have got our sweet treats made and the bacon jalapeno cheese balls are sitting in the fridge. We've got um, the chili stuff ready for tomorrow. And yeah, so let's see. Let me show the chili stuff. Kind of like stuck everything down in the bottom drawer. So I have four pounds of the butterball ground turkey. Then I've got a ton of cheese because I'm making a double batch. So we do it with rice, um, rotel tomato sauce, water, a little bit of um, a little bit of flour. Sometimes I don't do that. Chili powder, cumin, paprika. Um, instead of red pepper, I do the rotel. So that's why the rotel is in there. And sometimes I want more um, diced tomatoes in there. So I'll put some extra diced tomatoes in there. But um, yeah, we're, we're getting ready. Everything's pretty much clean. Um, I wrapped my last present this morning. So I think the kids are ready for Christmas Eve for my parents to be here and my sister and her husband. And then Christmas Day will be a day here at the house and then spending the afternoon with my husband's side of the family, like I said earlier. But, um, yeah, y'all have an amazing rest of your day. Stay organically you and have a Merry Christmas.